Okay, now let's go to make create the reading part of the temperature and humidity. So first, I would need to come to the clock part and drop this component as a clock timer. Then I need some logic part, which I'm copy this part and drop it here. Then I don't need this part, and I don't need this as well. Then I'm saying that if Bluetooth is connected, which is this one, then uh, so let make it as a Let's uh, use all this component here and this one as well. So if it's connected, I want to let me replace this as a connected and make the color green. Then I make another condition here and make it if it's connected and set this label Okay, this is the first condition. If it's connected, make it connect. With the color green and if it's not connected make it disconnect and red then i need another logic of this here i don't need this part this part not this part then i would need to use the initialize the lo local which is the one of the the variable for this part and I am saying that if Bluetooth is connected and this Bluetooth uh, the available bytes which I need for some let's say the logic of let's use and and to say that okay if Bluetooth is connected which is this one and call Bluetooth byte which I need to go to the Bluetooth. This one. But okay, I cannot make this because it's need some mathematic part the logic so I need to do this and if this is equal let's make it greater than 
then value of the five and why I'm saying the five because if we look at this value one two three four five these are the lengths is character is five them so then I am saying that for initial local which I am make it as a list then I need to split this and to say that call Bluetooth receive text then I am coming here this one and if again I need this Bluetooth for the byte available to receive at I need one argument or separator which is double dot and then I need two local variable one we call it as a 10 and I need to select the list item because I have the two values one is the temperature and second one is humidity so then I need one variable as a get the list then the index of the, the value is one and then I have the another variable which called as a humidity and using the same method call it two then in that case I need to have the two label for humidity and temperature which I have here I think this is a labeled humidity label humidity value and label temperature value so I need label humidity value to the text and then also I need to the text temperature value so then I need to use a joint part to get the value of the humidity and make this value with the one symptom symbol of the percentage and for another one the same scenario I need for temperature and I need uh, Celsius then 
again I, I would need another logic let me delete this part and also I need to here yes so I want to say there are some uh, conditions here to if some temperature or some humidity lower than some value or uh, greater than some value then it will make some uh, color for that specific point okay so it's, it's very simple logic just the for understanding if the values are changing then i want to make it more colorful so i'm saying that let again to jump to this part of the mathematic and to say that okay if value or value get for temperature the value for get temperature is less or equal to 35 then make the label temperature which is this one then set label temperature as a text color to remove this and the color make it let me find the color make it green and else if the temperature greater than 35 so if the temperature let me see what's the problem here if get temperature it should work okay yeah here you go the problem was that because it's it was not in this loop and you have to drop it in this loop okay because it's a local uh, initialized value then if the temperature equal to Okay, let's make it as a between the two values. So, if I want to make it as a between, let's make it as an and. And to say, okay, if this value get temperature um, like this one, let me make it like this. If it's greater than then greater than 35 and less than uh, for example 40 less than 40 then let's set the temperature value let the here must be temperature value 
here. That's this one to the yellow. And if this uh, temperature greater than 40, let me make another else if and if this get temperature greater than 40 they make it as a red then make this as a red okay okay perfect the same condition we can make it for humidity let me just copy this part and uh, paste it and make this as a humidity if uh, 40 less than 40 make it red between 40 to 50 40 to 50 make it yellow and greater than 50 make it green okay perfect then the last part which we need to make it for the time then I have the the clock here and I need to the set the clock which I, I think the last label which I added here let me check what was the label of the district uh, yeah let me just label the, the time and make this here and to say that okay set the label time to text and then make one join I have the here and to say the time stamp let make it as a time stamp time stamp and then double dot here and they have the clock here for the format time you have to look into for the format time I think this is yes this is the suitable one and then call clock for now In it will show me the time of I mean current time okay now all set and then we have to check for the final part of the app to see that how we can uh, extract the file and download it in our app